hello everyone so in this video i'm going to show you the step by step configuration of the samba server on the CentOS 9 server or red hat uh, 9 server so the main difference between samba and nfs server is in case of uh, nfs server the client should be either linux or unix but in case of samba server so the client may be windows machine or linux or unix machine so basically samba server is a file server where you can store the file or you can access the files so uh, let's let's uh, start with the server configuration so the ip of the server is 192.168.1.101 so uh, let's create the directory that we are going to share so i'm going to share the linux uh, directory so to create the directory install the required package so the package is samba and samba client okay once the package is installed start and and enable the smb service the actually the service name is smb okay allow the port in firewall reload the firewall so that the changes will take immediately effect so so the SC Linux is in enforcing state so we have to change the SC Linux type so, so if you see here currently the SC Linux type is default D so change the SC Linux type to Samba CRT now let's verify it looks good now create a one user so for the security reason you create a user with uh, no bash cell access so i will create a username uh, mark now convert this user mark in the smb user so and uh, create the password okay user uh, mark is created as samba user now uh, we have to change configure the SN, smb.conf file so etc samba smb.conf file okay so before uh, configuring this file let's have a look on the security section so suppose security is user then only the valid user uh, can access this samba shared directory so in our case i have created the user mark so only user mark will be able to access the shared directory so, so but if security is here a share instead of user then any user can access uh, the the shared directory which is not a recommended way the recommended way is to have a security as user so i will leave as it is now uh, let's configure the shared path so shared directory is linux comment i will put here path shared is linux browsable yes means a client can discover the shared path writable s means uh, linux uh, the client can uh, write to this directory shared directory valid users is mark in our case so this is all about the smb.conf file configuration now restart the smb service now let's go to the client section 
now on the client side uh, configure the directory that we are going to share so so i, I will uh, create one directory where i am going to mount that samba share directory install the prepared package so we, we will be adding uh, that file as a um, cifs file system so that's a samba share directory so the package i think is already present there now uh, let's try to discover the uh, shared path so for that you and the user is mark okay if you see here the linux the shared directory linux is present here so our uh, configuration is fine now uh, mount this uh, shared directory temporarily for that amount dash t and the file system that is cifs and then slash slash ip of the samba server and then so actually the, uh, the directory is uh, on this samba server side is training and uh, inside training there is linux but in case of samba only we have to put here the shared directory which is linux not the complete path as we did in the case of uh, nfs server now uh, where i am going to mount is cfs logs and then who oh, username is uh, mark password is the password of the user mark so hit enter and bf dash ht okay so this is this uh, samba uh, say direct is now mounted temporarily but to make it to mount is permanently we have to enter in entry in the fs tab so let's go to the last line linux and the shared path uh, the file type is cifs and then username is mark this one so this is the entry for the cfs server now uh, mount dash a so if you see here now even after the reboot this shared nfs cifs direct directory will be present here so you can now um, access uh, this uh, shared directory linux from this client machine Okay, so thanks for watching the video.